Good morning, everyone. Hello, all around the world, wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. May God be with you. May peace be still into your homes, into your bodies, into your minds. Thank you all for watching my videos, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I really appreciate it. If there's any prayer requests or anything that you need, please feel free to write it in the comment section. Or you can look it up. Um, my email is in the description area, and you can always email me for any prayer requests. I really, really appreciate you all. I love you all, and may God bless you. So today, I just want to speak about something really briefly, amen, and that is the runaway bride. The Lord gave me this insight about the runaway bride, amen. Many people have gone astray. They have gone astray and swayed were persuaded, were led, misguided, and mis, just miss. wow, they just missed it due to seductive doctrines of the enemy, due to things that are not of God, but it looks like God. It appears to be godly, but yet it's not godly. It's just merely a form of godliness. And so the church have pretty much promised God and said, okay, God, I will live for you. For God, I'll live. For God, I shall die. God, I want to make this commitment unto you. I want to do better. I want to be better. But then when it's time to come to that altar and to form the actual marriage covenant and commitment, that's when many believers run away because they are afraid or they have been led astray. And now that pure version of God, the groom of God, who is supposed to be clean without spot, remish, or bl blemish, or wrinkles, have now been perverted, tainted, and made filthy. Amen. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 to 3 says, I hope you will put up with me in a little foolishness. Yes, please put up with me. I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I promise you to one husband, to Christ, so that I might present you as a pure virgin to him. But I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the servant's cunning, your minds may have somehow been led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to God. It is still going on right now. Many believers in the church are being seduced, are being led astray, and God is jealous. God is a jealous God. And we have to make sure that we are still reading our Bibles in the midst of learning and getting taught from other people. It's okay to get taught. We all need to be taught. But we have to make sure that we are reading our Bible to make sure that the ones that we are taught by are, are, are leading with a godly example, are leading us to Christ. Amen. Remember, Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ, because the end result has to be that that person is being led directly to Christ. May God bless you until next time. Peace be still unto your home.